Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out the magic items in Wild Rift. It typically has the same mechanics as the items from the PC version, however there are a bit of difference when it comes to stats. Remember that Wild Rift has a faster pace compared to the PC version, so some of the stats have been adjusted to comply with the mobile gameplay. We will also show the required items in creating the mid-tier and top-tier items. So first are the basic items, which is the Sapphire Crystal and the Amplifying Tome. Sapphire Crystal provides you with a plus 300 max mana. It's useful as a starting item to champions that are dependent on mana in the beginning of the game. Sapphire Crystal is the only basic item that increases your maximum mana. Because of that, this item is the basis for building higher tier items that provides mana. Next is the Amplifying Tome. Provides plus 25 ability power. Basically the beginner's book. Most of the magic items will have this as their prerequisite, so you can never go wrong in buying this. Next are the mid-tier items. First one is the Tear of the Goddess. Provides 300 max mana and the unique passive awe and mana charge. All lets you refine the 10% mana you've spent on your skills. While mana charge increases your maximum mana by 6 every time you spend your mana, typically through the usage of your skills. The maximum bonus you can get is up to 700. You're only allowed to carry one Tear of the Goddess item. Next one is Aether Wisp. Pretty straightforward, plus 35 ability power and plus 5% movement speed. Next one is Lost Chapter. Plus 30 ability power, plus 150 max mana, and a plus 10% cooldown reduction. Next is Finnish Codex. Plus 35 ability power and a plus 10% cooldown reduction. Next is Blasting Wand. Plus 45 ability power. Needlessly Large Rod. Plus 65 ability power. Next is Hunting Guys. Plus 200 max health plus 35 ability power and provides the unique passive madness. You deal 2% more damage against enemy champions for each second you stay in combat. Maximum 10% after 5 seconds. Meaning on the 6th second it will go back to 2% and increase again per second as long as you're at combat. Next is Sheen. Plus 30 max mana plus 10% cooldown reduction and the unique passive Spellblade. After using a skill your next basic attack within 10 seconds will have an additional damage. 100% base attack damage. Its cooldown is 1.5 seconds. A great item for champions that makes use of their skills and basic attacks. Just remember to trigger it whenever possible. You'd basically want to have a basic attack sandwiched between your skills. Next is Hextech Revolver. Plus 40 ability power and the passive Hextech Bolt that lets you shock an opponent for 75 magic damage once you've hit them with a basic attack or skill. It has a 30 second cooldown. Next is Oblivion Orb. Plus 125 max health, plus 25 ability power, and plus 15 magic penetration. Next item is the Void Amethyst. Plus 25 ability power and plus 20% magic penetration. And those guys are the mid-tier magic items. Next are the top tier items. First is Luden's Echo. Plus 80 ability power, plus 300 max mana, plus 10% cooldown reduction, and the unique passive Discordic Echo. Moving and casting skills will build your stack of discord. Once it reaches 100, your next damaging skill will deal 100 bonus magic damage and plus 10% magic damage to your target. It can hit up to 3 nearby opponents. Next is Morello Nomicon. Plus 300 max health, plus 70 ability power, plus 15 magic penetration, and the unique passive cursed. Any magic damage you deal onto an enemy champion will inflict grievous wounds for 3 seconds. We've discussed this before on our previous video. Grievous Wounds basically reduces any healing effect for 50%. Next is Void Stuff. Pretty straightforward. Plus 70 ability power and plus 40% magic penetration. Next is Rabadon's Death Cap. Plus 130 ability power and increases your ability power by 40%. Next is Rayleigh's Crystal Scepter. Plus 300 max health, plus 70 ability power, and the unique passive IC that lets you slow enemies by 20% for 1 second whenever you damage them with your skill. Next is Leandris Torment. Plus 250 max health, plus 90 ability power, and the unique passive Madness where you deal 2% more damage against enemy champions 
for each second you stay in combat. Maximum 10% after 5 seconds. The same stuff from hunting guys. You also get torment where your skills deal 1% of an enemy's max HP as bonus magic damage for over 3 seconds. The damage doubles if they are slowed or immobilized. Next is Rod of Ages. Plus 250 max health, plus 60 ability power, plus 300 max mana, and a unique passive eternity and veteran. It lets you store mana equal to 15% of the damage you've taken from enemy champions. It also regions your health equal to 20% of every mana you've spent. Veteran lets you build up stacks every 1 second for 30 seconds. Each stack will provide you with 20 HP, 10 mana, and 6 ability power. It can stack up to 10 times. Next is the Leech Bane. Plus 80 ability power, plus 300 max mana, plus 10% cooldown reduction, plus 5% movement speed, and a unique passive Spellblade that provides additional magic damage on your basic attack right after using a skill. Next is Nashor's Tooth. Plus 50% attack speed, plus 70 ability power, plus 20% cooldown reduction, and a unique passive Bite that provides bonus magic damage on your basic attacks. Next is Archangel's Staff. Plus 35 ability power, plus 500 max mana, plus 20% cooldown reduction, and a unique passive Awe and mana charge. This item is the magic counterpart of the Masamune and Muromane from the physical items. The mana charge increases your max mana permanently by 12 every time you spend mana. Like when you're using your skills. Once the bonus max mana reaches 700, this item will then transform into Seraph's Embrace. When it becomes Seraph's Embrace, the bonus ability power you get from the unique passive Awe will now become 3% which used to be 1%. Max mana from 500 to now 1200. You also now get the unique passive Lifeline. When you receive damage that lowers your HP below 35%, you will then consume 15% of your current mana and convert it into a shield of the same amount plus an additional 150 shield. The shield lasts for 2 seconds and it has a 90 second cooldown. Next is the Ardent Sensor. Plus 250 max health, plus 60 ability power, plus 10% cooldown reduction, plus 5% movement speed, and a unique passive sensor. Whenever you healed or shield an allied champion, both of you will gain 10 to 30% attack and receive 16 to 30 bonus magic damage on your attacks for 6 seconds. Next is Hextech Gunblade. Plus 30 attack damage, plus 60 ability power, plus 15% physical vamp, plus 15% magical vamp, and a unique passive Hextech Bolt. Hitting an enemy champion with either your skills or basic attacks will shock them for additional magic damage as well as slowing them down by 40% for 2 seconds. This has a 30 second cooldown. Physical Vamp basically means lifesteal for your basic attacks and Magical Vamp is lifesteal for your skills. Remember that the Magical Vamp applies to all skills. It doesn't matter if it's physical, magic, or true damage, it will still lifesteal. To be honest, this one is better called Spell Vamp. Next item is Harmonic Echo. Plus 80 ability power, plus 300 max mana, plus 10% cooldown reduction, and a unique passive Harmonic Echo which lets you build harmony whenever you move or cast skills. Once your harmony reaches 100, your next healing or shielding ability will restore additional HP to your target and up to 3 nearby allied champions. Next is Athens and Holy Grail. Plus 55 ability power, plus 40 magic resistance, plus 10% cooldown reduction, and a unique passive blood price which lets you store 35% of your damage dealt unto enemy champions as blood. Healing or shielding an ally will then consume all of your stored blood and provide additional heal that's of equal value. Next is the Awakened Soul Stealer. Plus 65 ability power, plus 200 max mana, plus 20% cooldown reduction, and a unique passive Soul Charge. Unique takedowns permanently reduces the cooldown of your ultimate by 3%. It can go up to 15% after reaching a maximum of 5 stacks. Takedown means getting a kill or an assist against enemy champions. Unique takedowns means that it has to be done on a different enemy champion each time. So for example, you've killed or assisted in killing Garen. You will then get that permanent 3% cooldown reduction, but you will only get it from him once. 
Even if you kill Garen 10 times, you will only get a single 3% cooldown reduction. You have to kill or assist in killing a different enemy champion to get the other bonus cooldown reduction. That's why it can only go up to 5 stacks since you only have 5 enemy champions. Last one is the Infinity Orb. Plus 200 max health, plus 60 ability power, plus 5% movement speed, plus 15 magic penetration, and the unique passive Inevitable Demise which lets your skills crit for 20% bonus damage against enemies that has less than 35% health. And there we go guys, with that we've covered all of the magic items in Wild Rift. Hopefully with this you'll know which items can work best for your chosen champions. That's all for this video, stay safe and thank you for watching.